Alrighty, so let's get ZBrush open. Let's get over into the dojo. Wah! What is going on, everybody? Uh, Eric, what's going on? Appreciate you being here. Sarah, thank you for being here. Marata and the Bata, what's going on? Thibolan, what's going on? D Zinc, how have you been? Where have you been? Hmm? Where have you been? Where have you been? D Zinc, Hanzo Shimada. Oh my, this was unexpected. I love it. Excellent. Red Catchem, Elbow Cough. Eric Zahn, what is going on? Sarah back again. Edward Engel, what's going on? Daisuke! Just noticed Joseph and Paul's face in the background. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I, just so y'all can see it. Just so y'all can see it. Hmm, there it is. Right? Ryan, Joseph. Frank, Paul, Simon, and if you want an extreme close up. Right? Right? All that right there. All for you, Daisuke. All for you. I want to print those sculptures on your desk. Those that's a real desk. Cost me forty million dollars to build that desk. I think it was a little overpriced, but no, $40 million sounds like a good deal. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this. I swear to God, you people! Stop separating your meshes into so many damn piece. Oh my God. Step one, your character better be all in one damn piece. All right. Just merge it together, guys. Come on. Come on. Merge it together. Live wild. Live free. Okay. Put it all together. Let's get going. All right? Sick of it. As you can tell, I'm in a very good mood today. So, um, this one is from Skull Hat. So Skull Hat, uh, let's take a look. A long time viewer and dojo member. So we're definitely gonna help you out. Okay, so uh, first thing I would do is open up these orbits a bit more. Okay, open these up, get some more space in here. Okay, and then actually have an orbit in here so your eyes can sit inside of it, okay? Uh, generally what you wanna do is you wanna have eyeballs in here. I think you already have some. Do you already have some? I think you do. Uh, let's see yeah okay so your eyeballs let's take a look at those those are way too big way 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 too big so what we need to do is when you put this in the center we need to activate local symmetry and we need to put this in the orbit all right so let's set up our orbit first your orbit your eye is like a square that we rotate to the side Woo! That we rotate to the side. Okay, so let me load up a skull for you. This is from 1024. No, I'm not gonna give you the mesh. Don't ask. Go buy it your damn self. Okay, a uh, male skull. If we're gonna break this orbit down, you can see how it's very squarish. And this is on 99% of the people that you're sculpting. You're going to have something like this. So you can see how oblique all this is right and so whenever we go to your head uh even with the corrections that i put there it, it's not leaning down right so that's kind of what we need to do we need to set that up first so uh what i'm gonna do is get this bring this down and that's what your that's what you should set up your eye with first okay and then generally what I do is I just sculpt this over here. Okay, but now we have an orbit. And we have something that we can base all the other landmarks of the face around, okay? So, um, the first step is bottom of the orbit should be going straight into your ear, okay? 
Then we're going to have the uh, temple. And then the temporal arch. Are y'all paying attention? Okay. Bring it back right in here. Okay. All right, so that's the temporalis, okay? So generally your temporalis is not going to be as wide as your um, uh, as your zygomatic arch, right? Which is this bone, which is right here on the side of your face, okay? So all this is gonna dive down into the zygomatic. If we can take a look at this, this is a zygomatic bone that we have. Notice it's the widest part of the face, not of the entire head, but of the face. It's the widest part. Reason being is that you have the temporalis in here that has to feed into and connect to this little hook right here. So there's a big space in here making it the widest part of the face, okay? So that's kind of what we want to have here, right? We want to have the space in here. We want it to go back in, but we want enough room for that temporalis to feed into there, okay? Right, and I know I see a lot of people doing the Loomis method. Okay, let's take a look at the Loomis method. So if we take a look at the Loomis head construction, you can see that he continuously sends his zygomatic in an oblique fashion here, and then has the hinge right here of the jawline, okay? But when we take a look at the actual skull, you see it's not going this way is going straight across. So the jawline is always, this is the length of the jaw, angle of the jaw, mandible, okay? It's just so we have a common language between uh, each other, okay? So your length of the jaw needs to be in front of the earlobe here, okay? In front of the earlobe. Uh, next, your your head may be a little bit too short, right? So we might want to get a little bit more space so it's not so scrunched up, right? See, looks like a baby. Okay, so we want to spread uh, the face out a little bit more. Um, with this, for lips, it's more of a subtractive issue than an additive one. Okay, so you can see I, I never built up anything on that lip. Okay, uh, Filtrum is where you dig in. Okay. Uh, your chin is too wide, you wanna narrow it out. And all this is very, very flat. You can see it's pretty much a straight line, straight across, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna fix that. We wanna bring this in, we wanna have our uh, chin forward. We want to have the nodes of the mouth, which are always going to be on the side. This is where all the muscles are going to grab on to, uh, to emote, right? All that, mm -mm -mm -mm. all that stuff, right? Is connected directly to the nodes. So some people have nodes that are a little bit more uh, pronounced. Obviously, the um, you know it varies from person to person, and uh, the amount of body fat that the person has, you'll see more or less of this. Okay. So your nose is very, uh, it's, a, it's proportioned well. There's really nothing wrong with it, but what we want to do is get a little bit, uh, a little bit more information in here. So first thing I'm doing is I'm sending the glabella up. The glabella is generally going to be around here for a male. For a female, it's going to be uh, right about there, right? So, um, you know, and it's not everybody, not all, not all, not all, but most we'll have that, okay? So next thing we wanna do is we wanna separate the nose from the rest of the face, okay? Because we've got um, we've got a maxilla here that, um, that we need to sculpt in. So we need to have a little bit more space here, okay? And that's actually not enough space. We could probably do a little bit more, okay? So I want you to start giving a whole lot more space uh, around the nose, okay? Um, and then dig around the uh, the nostril as well, okay? 
Um, bum, bum, bum. Uh, let me subdivide this. Okay. And then we're going to get our ALR cartilage in here. So it's going to go here and then go back up into the nose. And whenever we look at this, you can see that your nostrils are circles. And generally that's not what's going to happen. And then you want to you want to have that nostril as it's coming back. We want it in the in the back end. OK. Somewhere around there, bring this up. OK, um, and so now what we want to do is we want to bring the ALR cartilage all the way from back here. Get the proper brush size and we want to come all the way and around. OK, so this is your ALR cartilage, which we need to really describe this nose completely. OK, um, and there's some topology issues. Uh, we're going to split it right down the center. It's going to go back up into the nose. We want to get rid of this little lift here. Okay. Um, and then for the nostril, you can see how sharp this edge is. And uh, this is the most fleshy part of your nose, right? So what I want to do is kind of round this off a little bit more so that uh, we have um, contrast, right? Because anything that has to deal with cartilage is very hard surface. You know, the, your, the ridges in your ear, the helix, anti-helix, tragus, all that stuff uh, in your ear is all cartilage based. And there's really, you know, you consider those very, very hard planes whenever you're sculpting them. And here is no different, right? So here, around the nose, especially at the tip of the nose, you're going to have a very hard surface element here. Okay. So we want to, uh, want to honor that. All right. So what we are missing now is the three breaks in the nose. So you have one with the glabella, two with an, with the nasal bone, and then three with the alar cartilage going into, uh, the septal cartilage. Okay. So the one, two, three punch right on the nose. One, two, three punch. So glabella, the nasal bone, and then the septal cartilage going into the alar cartilage. Okay. Three hits. One, two, three. Okay. So uh, next, what we want to talk about is the eye. Okay. So now that we have a whole lot more space in here, we can um, we can uh, take care of this. I think I was working on the eyes earlier before I got sidetracked. Yeah, so the eyes are a bit too big. So what we need to do is we need to reduce them down. Um, so let's say this is the orbit, right? That's the size of the orbit. Uh, and when I'm talking about the orbit, I'm talking about this. This is the orbit right here, okay? So whenever we're placing eyes in here, what we want to do is fill it up all the way and then hold shift and reduce it by uh, 40 to 50%, depending on what's most appropriate for your character, okay? And then it's not going to be a perfect circle, it's gonna be kind of squished a little bit. And then if you want quick uh, irises, you just hold control, bring it out, reduce it by 50%, and then you've got a automatic uh, iris in here, All right? So what I'm gonna do is uh, sculpt over this real quick, and then we're gonna sculpt in the eyelids and all that stuff, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is make sure um, that we have some hits in here while we're just uh, sketching about, okay? So first hit is gonna be your lacrimal punctum. This is where all your tears come from. And then we're gonna go down, okay? So we're gonna have a up, and then we're gonna go down. Next is going to be the bottom eyelid. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go straight. Oops, I don't know, why does that do that? Pixelogic Dasuki? Why does it do that? Why does it just give me a random line for no reason? Have we figured that out yet? Have we figured that out? Okay. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna get the cancel tendon, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go straight across, and then we're gonna curve. Okay, straight across, and then curve. And then we're just going to send all this back. Smooth it out, and then uh, we can uh, subdivide this a little bit more. Let's go 10, 20. All right, that's good enough. So 
Uh, we're going to get this in here. I'm going to use Damien Standard on the alt and kick this out. And then here as well, going to um, get this eyelid. I'm going to make sure it's not, you know, uh, you can see right here how it's thicker here and shorter here. We want to have it equal distance, right? And so here what I'm going to do just to make it easier on myself is I'm just going to kick this back a little bit. I see uh, a lot of my students kick back this eye socket like into their brain for some reason. I don't know why, but they do it. Uh, you don't really need to go that far back because then you're going to deal with a whole lot of spaces and stuff like that in your eye. Okay. So boom. So now we've got that. Okay. So he looks uh, scared. Uh, reason being is that his whole uh, iris is showing. Okay. So that's going to give him a, uh, a scared look. Um, and you can see that this happens. So if you want to fix that, just mirror and weld it. And then it'll fix it. Okay. So we can do that. Bring this up a little bit so he doesn't look so scared. Come here. And we really want to get this around the eyelid. Okay. I want to get this around the eyelid. Infraorbital furrow right here. Okay. So whatever this line is, is the same as this on your orbit. Okay. You have, uh, it's called the adjacent symmetry. Okay. So here, bum, 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 bum. smooth, 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 smooth. Right there, bringing this in a little bit more. And then going up into the nose and then having the gabella here. Super ciliary arches. Right there, okay. Go ahead, I just want to say I really appreciate you looking at my sculpt. No problem, that's what the dojo's for. If uh, anyone else wants their work to be critiqued, um, what's up, Ashriff? Thank you for being here, brother. If anybody else wants to have their work critiqued, you can join the ZBHO Dojo. Um, and whenever you join the ZBHO Dojo, you can go to the critique submissions and you can post your, um, your ZTL here. We're pretty much caught up. So if you put it in now, I might get it on the show right now. Uh, but definitely it'll be first in line next week. Um, but yep. Yeah. So, you know, it's totally free. And then on Mondays we have our dojo sculpt off. So we had uh, Alice in Wonderland for our uh, theme and lots of really, really cool entries um, from Pat, Ryan, uh, and Harry. So good job, people. Good job. All right. So now let's get back to this. Okay. So, um, we've got that. We can probably lower this a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So next thing I want to do is I want to get the forehead. So, so right here, what I want to do is I want to treat this like a ray of sunshine coming out. Okay. And then now we have the forehead. So now whenever we go this way, we can see a whole lot more, right? So we'll, we'll take a look at the before and after, all right? And the last thing I would do, well, not the last thing, and something else I would do is I would uh, accentuate the brow for males. Okay, um, that way there's really no mistaking what's going on. Okay, so this one's a little bit too sharp, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kick that line back, smooth it out. And that should be, that should be good. You can dig around if you want, mess around with this a little bit more, but I think that's enough to symbolize uh, the masculinity, okay? Uh, your nose may be a little bit too short, so you might wanna make it a little bit longer. We don't wanna get it too close to the upper lip. Um, we want um, the lips to be within the iris. So they can get a little bit wider. Uh, and then we want to start putting in the muscles of the face, right? So we want to start coming here for our nasal labial fold, which is going to kiss the corner of our nostril and then go around the node of the mouth and sit right about there. Okay. And there's all different shapes of nasal labial folds. So I'm just sculpting one of hundreds of thousands 
So uh, it's up to you on how you want to sculpt this, but it does originate from your medial canthal tendon. Uh, it touches the nostril and then goes around here. And depending on how old they are, you'll see more or less of that, okay? So what that's going to do is going to give you a little bit of a flat plane here on your uh, malar. And now what we want to do is we want to reinforce the orbit here and we want to imagine that, um, uh, whatchamacallit, that square on its side, right? Whenever we're getting the orbit, because it's not a perfect circle, it's a square that's laying on its side, okay? So we can get that, we can get that. We can deepen this. The more we deepen this, the older he's gonna be, okay? So you decide how much you wanna emphasize that. And then uh, possibly a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit more barrel for the mouth, just so it's not so flat. And you can see that it's kind of, um, Let's uh, neutralize this expression a little bit more. So you can see that uh, it kind of feels like the mouth is open, right? So even if I go here with the Damien standard and I dig this in, still going to have a sense that the mouth is open. So what I suggest everyone do is get your inflate brush, get it really large and just give it a couple taps. And now you can see that the lips are closed. So now what we've done is we have built just your, your basic face, right? So now what we can do is we can turn this into any face now. And that's why I always teach my, my, uh, my mentorship students is you don't need to make that specific nose right now. You just need to make a nose correctly. And then you can use a move brush and all that and you can make it into any nose. Same thing with this face. You know, we can make it a short face, make it a long face. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we already have everything here that we need to to consider this a uh, successful block out, all right? And so here, uh, just making sure I have this master here uh, to really drive home the masculinity of this guy, because he was a mechanic, so I don't think he's gonna be looking too pretty. Uh, but that's just the character that you gave me, right? And then it doesn't take anything to get some eyebrows on here and your character is always gonna look weird until you have eyebrows. So where does the break of the eyebrow go, right? Uh, a lot of people have it too low, a lot of people have it too high, but we need it in the Goldilocks, right? We need it in the Goldilocks. So to get it in the Goldilocks uh, area is we need to follow this temporal arch right here. And we need to continue this line down and that's where your eyebrow is going to break, okay? So what we're gonna do, and I, I don't actually sculpt that in, I just eye it, right? I'm just doing it to show you. So if you're watching this and be like, why did you sculpt it? I'm just doing it to show you, okay? So, uh, or do you already have eyebrows in here? Maybe. I don't think you did, I didn't see any. So uh, we're going to extract this. Uh, right there, accept it. So we're gonna get all these jagged edges, right? So what I usually do, what I usually do is I go to deformation and I go to polish by features. And you can see it's gonna get rid of a whole lot of those uh, jiggy jaggies. Um, but the biggest thing is that you have two polygroups on one side. So I'm gonna polygroup that. Oops, uh, we can go here, we're gonna grab that, we're gonna grab this, we're gonna grab that. Uh, we're going to, just for topology purposes, oops. And then we're gonna polygroup this. And then we're gonna bring everything back. And now whenever we polish by features, it's gonna give us those smooth edges. Okay. So uh, you want to have it quite thin here at the edge, right? Uh, again, there's all types of um, all types of eyebrows, okay? But it doesn't take much time at all to get some on here, and your character's never going to look complete until it does have this here. So um, you can choose how thick or how um, thin you want your uh, your eyebrows. 
okay so let's take a look at what it is and what it was just putting in these basics in here is really really going to drive your character forward in terms of just understanding all of this stuff okay um i have um um art station store um these are very affordable i think they're on sale now as well so uh i would go to my art station store i just added a nose for sculptors today um so that was automatically added to the spicy bundle so if anybody got in on this whenever it was 15 bucks good luck uh, good job on you because you're getting all the rest of the stuff for free so um but yeah uh just added nose for sculptors so hopefully that will kind of um uh, help you out with that and we're gonna be continuing to add more and more and more uh, to uh, my art station store next week we'll either have eyes or mouths or skulls or something else dealing with the face and then uh, we'll be adding it to the spicy bundle so uh, if you want to grab some of these and level yourself up um, definitely do so and you can use uh, code uh, ZBrush live for 40% uh, off 